Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I really wish my Uniview NVR could email me anytime something important happens on my property? Well, we've talked a lot on this channel about push notifications from a mobile app, but we haven't really talked a whole lot about other methods of notifications. Well, today all that changes because we're talking about how to set up email notifications for your Uniview NVR using everybody's favorite email client, Gmail. If you have a security system at your home or your business, you know how important it is to stay on top of suspicious activity happening around your property. By setting up email alerts, you'll be able to know exactly what's happening on your property when, without having to mess with a bunch of different apps. But setting up email alerts isn't as easy as just typing your email address into your Uniview NVR. It uses a much more secure method to get email alerts, which can be a little confusing at first, especially if you've never done this before. But in this video, we're going to walk you step by step through the process so you can get up and running with your email notifications in no time. You're going to need a Gmail account, you're going to need the IP address to your NVR, and you may or may not need a cup of coffee. I know I'm gonna need one, so I'm gonna go grab that, jump onto my PC, and we will jump right into the video. All right, we're here on my PC. I've got Edge pulled up with two tabs. We have uh, the web interface for our NVR. We're using the NVR 30416X. Uh, my second tab here is my Gmail account. Uh, we're gonna need to start here because there are some settings we need to configure in Gmail before we jump into the NVR settings. Okay, now this this is just a dummy Gmail account that I made like five minutes ago, just for the purpose of this video. So uh, if you wanna send me an email, hey, I'm Tyler, nice to meet you at gmail.com. I will never see it after today. Now to set this up, we need to make sure that we have two-factor authentication turned on so that we can do this safely. So I'm gonna come into manage your Google account. I'm going to come into security. I'm going to scroll down here and click on two-step verification. And we're going to turn this on. It'll want you to put in your phone number to send you a text message. And there we go, I should have gotten a text just now. And yes, I did. It worked. Would you like to turn on two-step verification? Yes, I would. So this is gonna make our account more secure because it's gonna require two devices essentially to verify anytime we sign in. Okay, now that we have that enabled, we're gonna click into it and it's gonna bring us to the two-step verification menu, and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find app passwords. This is gonna let us set up a specific password just for our NVR. So the app is gonna be an other with a custom name. We'll just, uh, we'll type NVR and click generate. And here it has given us a password, which I'm going to uh, highlight that, right click, click copy, and we're done with that. Now that we have that set up, let's come into the NVR. We are gonna go into setup, network, email. The first thing that we're gonna do here is turn on server authentication because this is required by Google. We are going to type in the username and password. The username is gonna be your email address. So, hey, I'm Tyler, nice to meet you at gmail.com and then the password I am just going to paste it in there this is this password from Google the SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com and the SMT port is 587 we are going to want TLS SSL Snapshot interval is totally up to you and what you want to do with this. Uh, I recommend attaching an image. This is going to attach images to the emails that it sends so that you can see the snapshot that was taken as the event was triggered. Sender is gonna be NVR. The sender's address is also going to be the same as the username. So I will just uh, control C, control V. Now let's set up the recipients you can see that we can click this drop down and we can have up to six recipients receiving this email, uh, which is, you know, if you have a spouse, if you have a business partner, you can add multiple people here. I'm just gonna fill out this first recipient, which is going to be me, Tyler. The recipient address, just going to uh, control V, paste that same email address in. You can click test. So it's gonna send a test email. The status was it, it, it succeeded. Let's go check my inbox. And there we go, test message from device. Everything is looking great. We can edit an arming schedule here. So if you only want to have emails during a certain time of day, you can do that by default. This is gonna be armed all the time. 
and I'm going to click save. We now have the uh, settings set up for email notifications. Now we just need to turn on email notifications. For instance, we can do this inside of our camera menu. We can go camera uh, motion detection, for instance, and we can set up a trigger action that is going to send us an email anytime motion is detected. Since this is just basic motion detection, it should be triggered pretty quickly. And in fact, I'm just gonna go walk in front of that camera just to speed things up. All right, now let's check this out. Looks like I do indeed have a new email. Device alarm, event type motion detection, tells me the camera. So you can use this as a trigger whenever you need to. For instance, you can set up the trigger for video loss. You can set up the trigger for uh, tampering. Uh, what else do we have? We can come into alert and we can also have emails sent for any of these alert types. You know, we've got IP conflict. If your network is disconnected, if you're, uh, you have, you know, your hard drive is getting full or your hard drive is full. There's a lot you can do with email notifications. Gmail is probably the best way to go about getting these alerts. It's the email client that we recommend. It's probably the email client you're already using. So go out there, set up your email alerts and start increasing your awareness about your security system and your property. And that's it. Your email notifications are now set up and emails should start pouring in as soon as those intelligent events are tripped. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you still have any issues after following this process, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Customer service at nellysecurity.com, 855-340-9999. We're always happy to help you guys out. Setting up security notifications like this is only one piece to your video surveillance puzzle. So if you're interested in this topic, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us across social media so you never miss another piece of security content. Happy installing and we'll catch you guys in the next video.